Yeah, just, uh, you know, really proud of that win. I thought it was a, obviously a great pitcher's duel. I thought Billy did a great job, and and their guy did a great job. So, you know, runs were hard to come by, and uh, just really proud of our guys kind of staying in the middle of the ring and uh, finally getting a chance to strike there in the eighth inning and uh, got some big hits out of Slade and Nick. So, uh, great game, very proud of it, and, uh, you know, it was a hard-fought win for sure. Got Chandler Rogers, you on baseball. Christian, what did you kind of see from just Billy today? It seemed like you were able to kind of change your eye level on the fastball quite a bit. Was your obviously the breaking ball going? Just your overall thought on this. Yeah, just really a true four pitch mix. I mean, two different types of spin, the change up, uh, and, and the, the fastball that he can command to all quadrants, you know, the zone. So he can elevate, he can go in, out, and, and so forth. So, uh, you know, it, it, we've, we've grown accustomed to it. You know, he, he's done a great job for us and just a true pitcher. And I thought that was on display today. Uh, Andrew Abney, Pine Belt Sports, to Oz or Slade, whoever can answer this question better. Slade, you had a 3 0 count with the runners at first and second. How, who, who gives you the green light? Is that something you give them, Oz, or is that something Slade just kind of took? Uh, you know, Coach Creel looked at me and said what we wanted. I gave him the head away sign. I thought it was the right time to do it. And he got his pitch and he, you know, put a great swing on it and, you know, drove that uh, opposite field double. So, Slade, did, what was your thought process of when you, when they give you the green light? What were you looking to learn in that bat? Uh, yeah, I was looking just uh, for a fastball, uh, just get my swing off something uh, kind of uh, middle of the plate. And I, that's what I got. Were you su surprised that they gave you the green light right there? Uh, I was looking for it. Uh, Coach, I do mix some super breaks. Uh, what, what is it like having a slave in the, in the um, you know, part he's in, the streets he's in, in the postseason? It's, it's great. I mean, he's a great player. He's he's, he's a veteran. He, he's been in big moments, uh, not going to get sped up and, and so forth. And uh, he just really kept his composure really well there. Sometimes you give a guy a 3 0 green light and they try to do too much. But, uh, I mean, he put a beautiful swing on a fastball and drove it backside. So it was, uh, you know, we wouldn't if we didn't have confidence that he would stay in the moment. We wouldn't give it to him. Sam Scholar with Hattiesburg Americans for Billy. Um, when you got an opposing pitcher on the other side, you know, you two going kind of toe for toe with each other. Did that kind of affect you in any way as you're going throughout your start, just seeing how he's at that? All other pitchers also just kind of locked in like that. Uh, yes, I never really thought about it like that. I kind of like uh, when I'm in a groove, innings going by quick. And, you know, unfortunately, our hitters are. Going down quick too. They're having good at bats, but I'm back out there. It seems like every yeah, super quick. So I, I like that. Um, and then these beginnings when we when we score, I'm able to you know relax. And then when my the next day I'm out there, I get to feel get back into my groove. Scott Kirk, WDM. Uh, Billy, the last time you faced Coastal, career high 11 punch outs, and you got the nod that you were going to be playing them. How did that maybe give you a little bit of a mental boost? Yeah, I was super excited to throw against them again. I mean, I know they're a good team, so. Wanted to make sure I had my best stuff prepared. You know, they, even though I had a good outing last time, they can make hit, hit, hit all your mistakes. You know, you got to stay on the on of your stuff. And I know they weren't afraid to face me again. They knew if they got a second chance, they probably wanted to, you know, get back with what I did the first time. So it was just on top of all my stuff again that you know, worked out in my favor. To add to that a little bit, um, you know, every time it's a zero zero game, just through and through, it's always on the edge of your seat. Just you, you hang in there, Colby coming out. How do you feel like you guys set the tone for the rest of the pitching staff going forward? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, first uh, shutout of the year, I think we got. So it's nice that Colby's able to shut the door there after my my uh, couple innings. So uh, yeah, we're super excited. You know, Nico's going to probably start the next game, obviously. And a lot of confidence in him. And only using two arms in game one is exciting, and you can build from there. Coach, can you speak on uh, Carson Pinto instead? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, the uh, last game against Texas State, he, he uh, took a swing and some didn't feel real well in that wrist. And uh, we got it looked at and x-rays didn't show any kind of fracture or anything. So I uh, got a shot Monday and we hoped it would, you know, be okay today. And they just, you know, he tried BP and couldn't go. So, uh, you know, so they got to play the outfield today and uh, it was an opportunity for somebody else, you know, to get in that lineup. Uh, we hope Carson, you know, uh, progresses well and uh, we get him back soon. You saw he went through his seemed like his normal warm ups. Do you feel like it's like it's just a day to day thing at this point? I think so. It doesn't bother him anything, just the swing, you know, and the grip strength, I guess. So it's uh, it is what it is, and uh, you got to endure it. And uh, you know, it's it's up to somebody to you know fill that void. Oz, what's kind of your, your feeling on the team right now? It seems like everything's kind of coming together for y'all a little bit. There's some ebbs and flows now. Seems like you guys are playing across the board at a pretty high level, getting big hits like Slade and Nick today. 
you know, I think this group is really just, they've come together. Um, you know, we've seen it in the past at Southern Miss and uh, this year's no different. They, they were together all along. It was great unity, camaraderie, but uh, really hit a point, you know, where I thought they just took ownership, you know, and uh, we were able to kind of get out of the way. And that's, that's what good teams do. That's what you hope to get to. And, and sometimes it takes a little longer than others. So uh, just a tremendous group of young men that competes hard. They love each other. And they get out there and they compete for one another, and I think that's the you know the special ingredient that uh, is not always always there. You gotta you gotta work for it. So, Slade, I think it's fair to say that maybe the postseason's past. You haven't impacted the way you know maybe you wanted to, but just in the first year of this tournament to have that two run double, I saw you celebrate second. Obviously, has to set the tone for you. You think? Oh yeah, you know I'm just trying to uh, you know keep doing what I'm doing right now, and just uh, you know making sure that uh, you know I'm getting my swing off and. Uh, Counts that uh you know I'm looking to drive the pitch. Anything else, guys? Uh, oh, wait, no, just what do you expect from Troy Oz uh, on the second or fourth go around? I expect a dog fight. You know uh, they're they're fighting uh, to extend their season, and just like we are, and uh, you know it's it's a one game at a time mentality right now. So a lot of respect for for Skyler and that group and and what they do. And uh, it was a hard earned series uh, earlier in the year, so you know. I think we were here last year, same moment, you know, we're playing game two again. So uh, look forward to it. I know, I know our guys will be ready to compete, and I'm sure they will be too.